Welcome to iWave's solution for intelligent fault remediation. The goal of this video is to provide a demonstration of how iWave Orchestrator can provide intelligent fault remediation, which allows you to automate routine tasks so that you can focus on the necessary and strategic. iWave Orchestrator's Intelligent Fault Remediation Accelerator offers a superior solution to automatically responding to IT system management alerts and events. It offers a pre-built workflow and adapters to leading third-party products to quickly implement IFR within your existing data center infrastructure. Event streams are automatically monitored and processed according to logic defined in the workflow. Service desk incident creation can be triggered based on simple or complex logic including event type, server role, or even other workflows. Options for notifying the appropriate administrators are also configured. With iWave's IFR Accelerator, the entire process, alerts, details, remediation actions, is automatically tracked through the service desk. The iWave IFR Accelerator offers the following benefits. Intelligent fault remediation helps organizations filter out the noise from the network and enterprise management systems. Network and server events are validated against CMDB, SLA, and knowledge-based databases before they become incidents in your service desk. Intelligent fault remediation also enables your IT organization to instantly respond to a wide array of network server and application issues, which reduces outages and keeps users happy. Pre-built accelerators and adapters allow orchestrator to quickly snap into your infrastructure. Intelligent fault remediation also is the purest form of runbook automation. By automating responses to known IT issues, you can ensure that your prescribed solutions are applied in the correct manner and sequence. This improves availability, reliability, and makes for a high customer satisfaction. Intelligent fault remediation also ensures that the resolution process is fully documented every step of the way, enabling your organizations to stay compliant with industry and regulations. It also allows event and subsequent actions to be tracked through your IT service desk. Intelligent fault remediation is a natural extension of service desk integration. IFR provides a rapid and predictable response to ITSM events and alerts, all tracked through the IT service desk. IFR is generally performed through addition of a configuration change management product or execution of an administrative script. Either option is supported out of the box by iWave's 50 plus pre-built adapters. Errors, latency, and other issues associated with remediation are all mitigated by removing the manual intervention from the process. Best of all, the event and remediation details are all automatically tracked in your service desk for compliance, reporting, and analysis. In this simple example, we will show a demonstration of iWave orchestrators automatically responding to a server outage. To start, a server is taken offline. Once detected by the event management system, ITY in this case, a remedy incident is opened and the event information is added. Next, a remediation task is initiated and the server is brought back online. The demo concludes as the incident is closed once the ITY event is cleared. The last step is very important because too often the incident is never closed in the service desk. The first interface you see is the EMC Ionics IT OI interface. As you can see, this is the notification log console, and this is the console that logs events as they occur when servers become unresponsive and then are confirmed to be down. In order to demonstrate our solution today, we will be actually using our domain manager administration interface and simulating these events. And the flow will be, I will make a machine become and appear to the system that is unresponsive and not available. And you will see in the corresponding log area that the issue has occurred. And we will then be moving to the remedy interface, as shown here, to show that a, a corresponding remedy ticket has been created in response to this event. We will then be updating the remedy ticket and adding some additional information and we will see that once the ticket is updated in remedy we will then go back to the ITOI console and see that that information has been updated into the event itself. And then 
we will then simulate that the machine has restored itself. Perhaps it was a machine that was rebooted, and we will just see that the corresponding remedy ticket has been closed. I am now back in the notification log console. So as promised, I'm going to have this automator machine become unresponsive, at least as far as the ITOI interface is concerned. So I'm going to set the as unresponsive set to true and simulate a machine going down. And you'll see that as the notification log console is, is doing its polling, you will see an event come through. And as you can see, the event is that my automator machine, as it says, is unresponsive. Note that a ticket has been opened and it was originally new. And notice that it just changed to assigned. Now this is the first step in the ITOI standard process is that a machine is unresponsive. If it continues to be unresponsive so for a defined period of time per the customer's desires, it will then bring a red event down that says the machine is officially down. And as you can see, the automator machine is officially down and note a new ticket was generated for that event as well because, and of course it's been assigned. And this is through the standard flow that most customers would like to um, utilize that any event that comes through they can open tickets within Remedy, but you also have the choice of utilizing the filters within the ITOI solution to only show the events that say are down to verify so that you don't get too many tickets opened up within Remedy. So now we'll move to the Remedy solution and I'm going to search for these incidents. And here's my search interface. And I'm just going to do a global search. And I see my two tickets. Notice that this first ticket has a description that the automator machine is unresponsive. This is data directly from the ITOI event. And additional detail is also just sent to the notes section of Remedy so that you can see all of the additional information that was sent along with that event. In addition to this, notice this that in the external links tab, we actually have also associated the what we call a bind ID so that the ITOI event ID that is unique to this particular event is associated with this ticket so that you don't have multiple tickets open for the same event over and over and over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my status to in progress. And just as you can with any other help desk system, you know, I can go through and adjust my contact information, add additional classification information, whatever is your standard workflow. But the main point is that notice that I am changing the status to as an example in progress, in effect acknowledging that I see that this event has occurred. So I'm going to hit my save. And if I hit F5, you will see my status has changed to in progress. So now if I return to my ITOI interface, you will see that my incident, that was the original unresponsive incident, is now changed to in progress. I've actually shared the data from Remedy in real time to our ITOI system. But now let's pretend and simulate that the machine returns into service. So now I'm going to change my unresponsive status to false, in effect meaning that the machine is alive again. And I'm going to hit apply. And as the ITOI solution goes through its standard process, it is going to sense that this automator box has come back online and you're going to see these events turn into the color white. Now this can take a few minutes at most to occur so while we're waiting for the ITOI system to uh, register that this uh, that the machine is uh, responsive again I wanted to stress again that any data can be shared between the systems. The data is in real time and workflow can be designed as part of the accelerator to basically do any kind of rules assignment that needs to be done between the systems. 
and as mentioned those systems turned white which means that the machine is back up so now if I go back into my remedy console I can hit my F5 and hit refresh and notice that the statuses are all set to resolved in both cases and note that when I go to my resolution field that a little uh, note has been added that says the ITO event has been cleared. Now let's move to the actual orchestration interface and let's discuss some example workflows at that were part of this solution. This is the iWave orchestration design studio part of our solution and as you can see I have an example of the event to incident scenario where we can see an example of the workflow that occurs between the ITOI solution and the Remedy solution. And so I'll zoom in a little bit so we can see a little more detail of what's going on behind the scenes. Now this is built on the Eclipse platform and we're an object-based model solution. So for example I can grab from my palette all these different types of for example error handlers, I can have um, lookup services, I can have logging services, I can run scripts, I can run notifiers, I can send emails, I can run timers. This is all based on what your specific needs are and the accelerators come with pre-built workflows so that everything is done out of the box. So as you can see in this example we're going to run the process transaction effector that, in, that will see this event occur in real time and it basically sent, runs it through the steps to get the application information, run a lookup service, map it against the data for Remedy so that we are opening it the appropriate type of information in Remedy's format and then depending on what data comes through we can create, acknowledge, update tickets, clear tickets even if there are potential issues with the data that the data is um, you know has some type of a, a readable format or uh, and it has a situation that it's not prepared for we can have error handlers as you can see the little um, red triangle so that we can see and log the errors and even handle the errors and send responses back say within email or say even within uh, just log files themselves and as we continue to move through the process we can see that once we create we wait for our response and the tickets open within Remedy and as I mentioned this is a very extensible system while the accelerators are out of the box and are working solutions that can be implemented in very short periods of time, it is a very open system so that you can make adjustments to the workflow to meet your specific needs by, as I mentioned before, picking specific things in the palettes. For example, if I wanted to run an emailer type action, I can just select it and then as you can see I can just select it into the pluses wherever pluses appear, which means it's an open area of the workflow where I can interrupt it and add that information through. This concludes our demonstration of iWave's solution for intelligent fault remediation. For more information on intelligent fault remediation, contact iWave Software Sales or refer to the following links on iWaveSoftware.com.